Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here with my buddy Jeremy. We're on the beach and we're going to show you how to catch sand fleas at night. Check it out. That's coming up right now. All right, something I wanted to point out that I thought was really cool. You can see these points, see them? See these points right here? Well, all the sand fleas seem to be in between points. So in the divots, that's where the sand fleas are. We're in between points right now. That's a lot of good fleas in that one. Yeah. Sweet. So it's kind of slow. But again, I want to point this out, so we're going to start walking this way. Here's a point, if you will, and then there's a divot, and guess what's right over here? There you go, guys. There's a, there's some of the smaller ones, and then the real good ones are uh, this size here. Like this. Caught more fish on the littler ones last Medium week. Size. Medium sized ones? Okay. Yeah, we didn't get a single bite on the big ones. Interesting. If you use ones like this, we've been catching whiting on them. Strangely enough. Really? Up to the last weekend, I never caught a whiting on them. And then the, the ones a little bit bigger, like the ones you were talking about, we've been catching bluefish on them. Um, a couple guys caught some mackerel on them. So, guys, what we're finding is it's super easy to see at night. I think, honestly, it's like 10 times easier than trying to find sand fleas in the day. And all you have to do is go along the surf with a flashlight and you're gonna see these little V, v shapes in like a whole colony. So it's not just gonna be one, usually it's like a ton. These are like the medium sized ones that you were talking about that are uh, have been working really good. Yeah, those are actually the best ones. That size right there. And let me show you what I was showing you before, just as a size comparison. These are the big mamas, these are the medium baits, and uh, these have been really hot recently, Jeremy's been saying, so you can see the difference there. Pretty cool. Part of this process is you're going to find a lot of coquina clams. These coquina clams are the filters of the ocean. Um, they actually, you'll find a lot of these in, in the stomachs of fish like pompano and drum. They're a good bait if you can try to figure out how to get it on the hook. <laughs> what you do is you wait for the water to start going back. So when the water starts going back. All right, sorting through. We figured out we're trying out this new rake today, guys. And uh, it's a it's a specially made rake. It can hold a lot more um, contents in it. The problem with this one is it's our first time trying it. The problem with it is that the mesh is just too small. So if you if you guys make a rake like this, make sure you get a little bigger mesh because you don't want to get all the sand and all the um, shells as well. You just want to get the big sand fleece. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, you see him running? Yeah. Go. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check it out. That's a good haul right there. A lot of big mamas. There's a one with a lot of eggs. Let me show you that one. Yeah, See yeah. that right there? Packed full of eggs. Like this one? 
when it starts to come back, it starts falling. They don't hurt oh, you. Oh man, there's a bunch of them. Yeah. They can't hurt you. Oh, that's awesome. They're actually a mole crab, is what they actually are. Oh yeah, I got the water. The big ones too. Look at all those happy baits. Happy, happy, happy baits. This is just too easy. Try doing this in the daytime compared to night. Night and day difference, literally. It's so cool. And you get the big mamas at night, too. Big ones, really. Yeah. And then another thing I do is when I swipe it up, here I'll show can't rake the whole colony. So I pick up everything I can around it and keep throwing stuff in there. Yeah. That method looks familiar. Yeah. There's a good good amount in there. I did. Yeah, you can feel them when you're digging back in there because you're making that mound like Jeremy was saying and you can just scoop them in by hand. It's super simple. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. We caught hundreds and hundreds of sand fleas. This is so basic. All you need is a bucket and a sand flea rake and maybe a buddy with a flashlight to help you out. It was an awesome trip. As you guys can tell, we got a ton of sand fleas. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you here next time.